Hey guys, it's Crypto Marie. She does it all, a little bit of everything. I am going to talk to you about the lotto, the lottery. To me, it's a total scam because for you to purchase a ticket, right? And if you misplace the ticket, you are a winner. You have no idea you win. You have no proof that you purchased the ticket. And if anything happened for peace sake, the money goes back to the government I, I i'm sure there was nobody if anything happened to you let's say right for god's sake you passed away there was no next to can they can call i think they need to change how they've been doing business with the lotto they should have where you put your name your phone number the address just in case something happened they can at least contact your family member to give it to them but again why i think it's a scam there were so many unclaimed winning tickets. I don't think it's fair. Let me read a few stories for you guys. You will see why I am not pleased with the way they have the lotto going. It says, why the $2.4 billion Powerball jacket win, uh, jackpot winner only received $997.6 million as his payout? And there was a lot of stuff that we don't know that will get you by surprise it says next star after months of anticipation a winner finally came forward to claim the record-breaking 2.4 billion dollar powerball jackpot won on a single ticket sold in california the the jackpot was advertised as a multi-billion dollar prize the lucky winner walked away with just 997.6 million dollar why it says at the end of the day, if you want to ask me, I know it was $2.4 billion. With a $2 purchase, this is good luck. This is good money. This is a great blessing. Even though you didn't get a whole billion dollars, but at least you, had enough, you have enough money to you know, live the rest of your life where you don't have to ever work again in your life. But still, there was a lot of stuff that we don't know. It says it's all because of the ways in which a jackpot winner can claim their price. Now we're going to continue reading to see what's going on. It says anyone lucky enough to win the Powerball jackpot, regardless of its size, has two options when it comes to claiming their winnings. Okay. The first and most common is the cash option that value is typically listed secondary to the advertised estimate jackpot. For example, the record set in Powerball jackpot was advertised as being $2.4 billion while its cash value was $997.6 million. According to Powerball, that cash value has to do with the second price claiming option, the annuity option, which gives the winner 30 graduate payments, which increase by 5% annually over 29 years. I don't want that because I don't know how long I'm gonna be living in this planet. I don't know how long things gonna be going well. I, I want a, a cash out option, you know? At least I have all my money in my hand and um, make sure my children are okay my mom my family close family members are doing amazing fantastic 29 years who knows what can happen to the lottery system i don't care for that the cash value listed for the jackpot is generally the amount of money required to be the jackpot price pool on the day of the drawing to find the most estimate jackpot annuity price jackpot run officials determined 997.6 million was to pay the winner 2.4 billion over 29 years if they selected the annuity option okay so there is no 2.4 billion sitting around that money does not exist that money does not exist what exists is that lump sum caroline becker deputy director of public affairs and communications for the california lottery toward next star last month that lump sum is filled by ticket sales which along with the annuity 
factor is crucial in determining the jackpot's estimate size. According to Powerball, the annuity factor is calculated based on the interest rate for securities U.S. Treasury bonds that are purchased to fund the annuity price payments. Higher interest rate like those were seen in recent months allow the advertised jackpot price to climb. Because yeah, when you see that kind of money, you say, oh, wow, I want that money. And at the end of the day, you have an option. So based on what you choose, you could get the whole thing less money or get paid yearly less money, right? The difference between the cash and the annuity option isn't limited to Powerball. Mega Millions functions the same way. The winner of the $1.35 billion Mega Million jackpot hit by a single ticket sold in Maine last month also opt for the cash option when they came forward, giving them a slightly smaller price of $723 million before tax. That's before tax, y'all. Yeah. Though the annuity option will eventually end up being a bigger payout than the cash option, most jackpot renters selected the lump sum payments. Some finally ad ad advise, I've, sorry, advisors say that might be a mistake. Why is it a mistake? While the winner of the $2.4 billion jackpot, Edwin Castro, isn't working away a billionaire, he has received the largest cash payout in Powerball history, according to the game records. Castro has also been sued by another man who claimed the winner ticket was stolen from him. Jesus Christ. This is crazy. Powerball is played in 45 states, the District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, and the U.S. Virgin Islands. Drawing are held every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, and your odds of landing the jackpot are in 292.2 million okay so this is just a part of the story i'm done with this one i am going to go a little bit further where we have so many unclaimed lottery tickets so when they're in unclaims where do those tickets go you know does it go back to the government or what you know so what happens to unclaimed lottery tickets? A major component of playing the Mega Millions Powerball or another multi-state lottery is anxiously awaiting the lucky number drawing to see if you are a big winner. In fact, many would agree, argue that this is the only component that actually Hold on, guys. These pop-ups are killing me. Actually, matter even then, the jackpot can go unclaimed. Even if there was a winner, ticket are uh, there somewhere. So what exactly happened in that case? And what do the state do with the money? This is my question. And this is why I think they should change um, they should change the way they do in the lotto because if you put somebody's information in the back of the ticket and that person happened to win, at least you can contact them. But if there was nothing there, you purposely did that so you don't pay them. You know, time are hard right now. And I'm sure that person will be more than happy to receive a phone call from the lottery office say, hey, you are the winner of this and that. But that people are so worried of trying to make some money, they forgot they buy something. And I don't think it's fair for the state to keep that money if it's unclaimed. It's not right. It's a scam. The whole thing is a scam. I know you have to be responsible to hold your ticket, be an adult, but at the same time, if we were to have some information, at least next to Cam, if something happens, excuse me, guys, if something happened to you, you have kids. In my case, I have kids. I would love my kids to take over and have that money, right? No, too good to be true. They take the money back. How long do you have to claim a lottery ticket? Since each state has its own jurisdictions surrounding when a winner must claim a winning ticket, there was no clear out answer here. You need to look at 
your own individual state's rules, but at a general rule of thumb, a winner ticket typically expires 90 days to one year after the winning drawing date. But if you just won a mega million jackpot, or if you are holding the winning Powerball ticket in your hand, we we'll like to think that you are going to be cashing that and much sooner than either of those dates. How do you claim a winning ticket? To claim your winning jackpot or any price over $5,000 a scratch ticket or number game, you will need to mail your ticket to your state's lottery office or go to the lottery office in person. If you are one of the jackpot winners, it's a much better idea to take your ticket in person. I would think so. Be sure to sign your winning tickets so no one else can redeem it. You then need to file a claim form to decide how you want to receive your payments. You can either get your payments via a single lump sum of at once or via annual annuity payments. Each option has pro and cons, but both are subject to around 24% tax withholding from the state. You can generally expect to receive your lottery prize money within six to eight weeks. Some states allow you to direct deposit funds into your bank account, but others will mail you a check that you can then cash. Where do one claim when it goes? While it's even rather than the actual odds of winning the lottery, a winning ticket may go unclaimed. The largest unclaimed prize was a 2011 Mega Million winner in Georgia who would have won $77 million if had claimed the ticket within the allotted time. So where did all that money go? If a lottery... Bye, my son. Take care. Have a great day. Love you to my son. If a lotto and you smell wonderful, my child. If a lottery price goes on claim, each participating state will get the money back that they contributed. States can use this. He's going with you. <laughs> the dog is trying to go with my son to work. <laughs> this money for different purchase, <laughs> but it almost always goes back into the lottery fund to help monetize future jackpot and lotteries okay know that unclaim winning are different from there just being no winner at all and unclaim winning means that a lottery retailer distribute a winning ticket but the ticket holder never actually claimed the price if no winning ticket was ever sold the jackpot just increased for the next drawing based on how much money was spent by players and the participating state. How do we know a winning ticket was issued? Every time a lottery retailer give out a ticket, the set of the numbers issued is kept in secure computer database run by the multi-state lottery association these are the people responsibility for the powerball and mega millions when the drawing occur each week the number drawn are matched with every ticket in the system since you're you don't need to give any personal information to get a lot of ticket no one will know who actually won the ticket until you claimed it but even then if you your state allows an 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 anonymity we may never know who won the giant jackpot what happens if the winner ticket is lost mega millions and powerball are responsible for loss of stolen tickets so if you are holding a winning ticket in your hand be sure to guard it with your life also sign the back of your ticket if someone else find an unsigned ticket they can collect the price instead oh, it's so much yeah it's so much it's so much information what does they do with lottery money every state lottery has 
the choice to do whatever they want with the money they make from their game but more than more often than not states will use these funds to improve public education homelessness infrastructure and gambling addiction support centers okay it makes sense what should you do if you win the lottery if you define the odds and win the jackpot let us be the first to say congratulations this is an extremely excitement opportunity that can exceeding exceeding her exceedingly change your life but there are a few housekeeping activities you need to do before you get your hands on the cash it makes sense in conclusion if you win the lottery the first thing you want to do is get your money as fast as possible but believe it not believe it or not there are times when lottery winners go and claim in most cases, you have between 90 days and a year to cash in your ticket depending on the state you live in again guys it's gonna be a long one but i felt like it was important for me to bring that information because you know you in the stock market you in crypto and somehow once in a while not financial advice you will grab a scratch off you will get a, a ticket and if you become lucky you need to know what to do just in case okay so let's see i, I had a few where they show the unclaimed tickets in the past year excuse me guys the hair is all over my face let me see if i can find a list of the unclaimed ticket in what state i had one there list the list of on clam lottery ticket i had one earlier i don't know what happened okay um let's see one earlier was shows in England that's a lot of them guys in different states um, yeah I don't see it yeah I don't see it I don't see it. I had a okay, let me Okay guys. Okay, okay. There's one right here. Where's give, give me the list? It says the biggest unclaimed lottery ticket in history. You were millions. Sixty-four million pounds have ford shired in uk powerball 77 million georgia usa mega million 68 million new york usa super lotto plus 63 million california usa powerball 51.7 million a dollar indiana usa mega million 46 million new york I mean, it doesn't make any sense. That's what I think they should change the way they do the lotto. Have where the person that purchased the ticket can put the information. First name, last name, phone number, and a next to can, just in case the person is no longer alive, at least a family member can claim that money. I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's why we made a decision to purchase a ticket. And if we happen to be the winner, us that made that decision should get the money 
or our family members should get the money. Let me know how you feel, what you think about it. There was so many much more unclaimed tickets, especially in the U.S. I think it's a total scam that they don't have the person's information who purchased the ticket, and that should change. Subscribe and let me know how you feel. I know it's a long one, but it makes sense, and there was a lot of information that you can grab from there before you grab a lot of ticket, whether it's the lotto, Mega Million, Powerball, Fantasy Five, you named it. Any ticket, all the scratch, the scratch off. Each time I get paid, I grab one. Whether it's for five dollar or ten dollar, you just never know. You could be lucky that day. Not financial advice, and you gain something. Subscribe. Bye.